You are watching Did You Know? Featuring interesting people, places, and things in your backyard. Did you know? Now here is something intriguing to think about. This digital video short is produced and underwritten for Dubois TV by The Kinetic in downtown Dubois. Of course. Get into The Kinetic and we'll teach you the art of digital media production and help you create your own TV show. Or, if you're a business, partner with us and help us to continue lighting up your community through the power of digital media. Are you looking for a unique advertising opportunity for your business? Scared of the high cost of reaching new customers? Thanks to Dubois TV working with us, we've had fresh talent come in and create various forms of TV shows just for you. Shows that are entertaining, technical, and above all, educational. Even more so is that our shows are fun and exciting for people of all ages. So come on, check out DubuisTV.net with original content filmed and produced here at The Kinetic. Sponsor our TV shows and you can be seen on YouTube, Facebook, even during live webcasts and be loved by people from all over. What are you waiting for? Sponsor a show today and you'll become a hero. Join the digital revolution with Dubois TV and the Kinetic. Minds in motion. Hello and welcome to another Digino Moment. My name is Sam Otero, your host. Today with a very special guest, Mr. Drew Gordon, is going to tell us a little bit about a new production at the Wrights Theater coming up starting this weekend. And we're going to discuss a little bit about the importance of a thriving theater and arts community to a small city such as Dubois, Pennsylvania. Mr. Gordon, welcome so much. Uh, to the my show. pleasure. Thank you for Absolutely. having me. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. It's always good to connect with you, and sure. uh, you're you're an integral part of this community. Not only a well-known radio personality mm. and news director, uh, a lot of people may recognize Drew, his name, and his unique voice um, from that <laughs> oh, radio that could be gig, scary. But, but Drew, you've been involved in theater for a very long time. In fact, uh -huh. you've, you've uh, directed some shows at the Wrights Theater. And yes, You yes. have a new production coming up that you're not directing, no. but you're part of the cast. Tell us a little bit about the new show. Yes, the new show is uh, called The Learned Ladies. It is actually uh, written by Moliere back in, I want to say about uh, 1570 or so. So it's an old established classic. It was written in five acts. Uh, however, it's a little bit different than what it is uh, from the original. Um, it's a little more set to different times. Uh, as typical classics go, you can set them at any time. And our director, Ben Fitzgerald Fy, uh, came up with an idea of setting everything up to 1969. So at the time of free love and, and different types of situations that are out there, uh, you know, we're, we're taking that and, and taking that into a, account. Uh, the story of The Learned Ladies is, is simple. It's about a couple who wish to get married, um, and the daughter uh, has the full approval of her father. He's more than supportive on it. However, uh, trying to encourage the mother is another story. The mother is, uh, and this is why the 60s fit in so well, she's very liberated. She's very independent thinking. She uh, believes that education is the most important thing in the world, uh, sometimes to the point of excess. And so her and also the other two ladies, her, sis her uh, sister and her daughter, uh, are championing another person, a poet. And at least they think he's a poet. He's actually a con man out to get their money. Wow. And so she wants him to marry. You know, so it's uh, a lot of things that fall into place still to today, up to 2014, um, that can be focused on and, and people can still relate to, mm -hmm. even though it was written many, many years ago. So yeah, it's uh, a lot of comedy to it. There's some drama to it. And it's all in rhyme which makes it the biggest challenge of the whole thing. Uh, the way uh, it was written by Moliere was specifically in rhyme. Hmm. So you have the meter and the flow uh, almost in poetry, but still it's, it's more of original situations. Uh, Drew, tell us a little bit more about the importance of having a thriving art, not only an arts community, but it was specifically theater community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's. Uh, uh, an integral part of our uh, anything that happens downtown in terms of the art walk and whatnot, but sure. there's also a broader importance to to I think the culture mm -hmm. in these small towns, sure. not just the Dubois, but the region as a whole. Yeah, the the region. I'll be honest with you. I've I've come to know a lot of the um, 
theater programs around the area, not just, of course, Du Bois and the Wrights Theater, but also uh, cast in Clearfield, and, and Brookville has a community theater, too, and uh, Punxsutawney, and, and up in Warren, and St. Mary's. They all have thriving communities uh, that want to have um, great performances. It's kind of like a step above. You know, a lot of people think with community theater, it's just, oh, a couple people getting together. Hey, let's put on a show. But the detail that goes into this, the work, the work that goes absolutely. into this, absolutely building sets, setting lights, learning how to do all that stuff, uh, painting, uh, stage management, uh, you know, there's so much done behind the scenes as well as what you see on stage. So uh, very, very strong community. And the Rites itself is an old church that was converted into a theater, seats only about 161 people. So you have a very intimate set. Um, so quite literally, we even go down into the audience and play in with the crowd. So it's a lot of fun for not only us on stage and, and for the people who are putting it together, but also for the people who are coming to see it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers that may want to get involved with the rights, um, of course, uh, you know, they can come and take part of the show and, and mm -hmm. be part of the audience, support the rights theater. Sure. Right around the board. Yeah. There's ways they can get involved. If, they, if they're interested in getting involved at a production level, what mm -hmm. types of jobs maybe, maybe they oh my gosh on stage uh, yeah well see here's the thing about doing a community theater situation similar to the rights uh, only one person is actually paid which is our administrator mm -hmm. uh, the rest of us are all volunteer we come in on our own time uh, we build sets we and if we don't know how to do something such as building sets and doing lights and doing things like that behind the scenes we can certainly learn how to do it on the job. You know, sure. it's kind of like on the job training. Right. Uh, so there's more to it than just the people that are on stage acting. There's a lot of things that go on in the process. And everything that we do is primarily through uh, the Rights Theater players. So we actually pitch the shows. We pick shows that we want to do. We pitch them. We get voted upon for a five, sometimes six show season. Um, so you can have anything from dark comedy to uh, lighthearted family fun. Uh, to give you an example, too, now, Moliere, before we did this show, uh, Shakespeare, As You Like It. Sure. Uh, and afterwards, the next show after this is Sweeney Todd. Uh -huh. And Gene Shepard's A Christmas Story finishes out in Christmas. So it's something for everybody. And uh, so we, we try to do our best to make sure that's done. And a lot of folks who, who want to do it, we welcome them wholeheartedly to get them involved in the theater and uh, you know and, and whatever your talent may be it doesn't necessarily have to be on stage but anywhere we'd love to have you now, as you said you're multi-talented you've directed in the past this time around you are part of the cast I'm acting you yes playing. I am playing Fizal the father of uh, of Henriette that's the daughter who uh, is is looking to find a husband and uh, and funny enough that you mentioned we have uh, couples that do a lot of theater together. Uh, the woman who is playing the headstrong, independent lead in this Philemont is being played by my wife, Jenny Gordon. So, ah. so yeah, it's it, it's interesting that you have couples pairing up, and we also have another couple. Does in it, the cast. Do, do the, do, do the uh, parts mirror real life? Here? I don't want to right go there, that far. Right there. We, because, right there. well, Crisal well, is very, very <laughs> henpecked. So, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> just stop while you're ahead. I'm not I saying anything afterwards. I'll, I'll take the fifth on there that you go. one. Come if you know, uh, if you know uh, the Gordon family, mm -hmm. and you can come and watch the show and take part uh, in an assessment. <laughs> uh, so we want to win on to nice. you know, Drew, um, hey, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up and mm -hmm. tell people how they can get hold of the Rights Theater and the particulars of the show when it, when it airs. Uh, I mm -hmm. understand there's a special matinee performance. Yes, so yes. Um, we're actually, the show will open on Friday. Uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, this, this coming Friday the 15th. Right. So it'll be uh, Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th, both at 7.30. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday afternoon the 17th, we'll actually have an afternoon matinee, which always is at 2 o'clock. Very popular time set. Uh, a lot of folks get there rather quickly. And then the following week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're doing 7.30 p.m. shows. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a wide variety of stuff. Check us out. And also, if you need to find out more about the Wrights Theater, uh, great ways to do it. One, two, three, four, check. Four, two, seven, four. Uh, go online to rightstheater.com. Uh, you can reserve or purchase your tickets either way on the phone or online. Uh, or at the door. So as far as that goes, it's eleven. Uh, excuse me, it's ten dollars for adults, eight dollars for students. And I'm sorry, seniors. I'm laughing. <laughs> we're, we're our studios right down, down across the street from the library. And that's you right. Here in these busy times, and these gigantic trucks are coming through. Oh, that's that's all right. This is great, though. That, wasn't, that wasn't my belly rumbling. Oh, okay. That was, that was a Mac truck. You're, you're safe on that Absolutely. one so far. So. But yeah, um, it is an interest. It is interesting that we're right downtown <laughs> doing this kind of stuff. It's
kind of I think it's I think it's great. I mean, you know, to get involved in this kind of situation is fantastic. But uh, but yeah, we encourage everybody to come over to the rights and uh, you know take part in whatever thing you might want to do. It's 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 a great way to get involved in your community. Absolutely. And then Sweeney Todd for those looking ahead. Sweeney Todd starts when? Oh my gosh, you I believe that's in October. That's going to be right around Halloween. So again, that's another thing we like to do too. Is we like to stay thematic, like for yeah. Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, Holidays, yeah. that kind of thing. And, and we try to do shows uh, according to that. And we're in the process right now. I believe it's our final meeting with the players where we get to vote for next year is coming up within the next few weeks. So, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Outstanding. Well, we start every show here with a uh, question. Did you know? And now you know, folks, the learned ladies starting this weekend at the Wrights Theater. And you know a little bit more about Mr. Drew Gordon. Drew, thank you so much for your time. Again, and, thank you. And for your dedication to our community. Uh, oh. We appreciate everything that you do, not just on the radio and mm -hmm. in terms of educating and informing the community with the news that you do and the entertainment that you provide <laughs> us, but uh, with what you're doing and volunteering at the Wrights Theater. Certainly. It's, 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 it's a wonderful time. And, uh, and again, if anybody wishes to take part... Come on over. There you go. I'm Sam Otero, and there is another Digino moment for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time around.